This is a guide for navigating and using a perusal course site that is associated with, connected with, linked with a uh, LMS uh, course site such as in Blackboard. So in this video, I'll uh, go through a few things. I'll show you how to uh, navigate to your perusal assignments through your LMS course site. I'll show you uh, major sections, the sort of outlook, the look and layout of a uh, typical perusal site. Uh, how to view due dates, uh, other items and materials within the site, uh, just general visual layouts of where you find readings and videos and other items. And then also uh, near the end, we'll place annotations uh, in readings and videos and show you how to da navigate that and do that. So here we see a Blackboard course site and I, uh, myself, I put um, items, uh, course materials, assignments, uh, almost always in course content. Your faculty may do things a bit differently specifically, but um, we'll focus here on course content, uh, which is often uh, where faculty will put uh, most, most of their assignment or assignment listings. So we'll go over here and click on course content on the main left-hand side menu. And that will bring up a list of uh, materials, assignments, items. And so the key thing with uh, perusal is that you wanna make sure that you click on uh, your faculty's assignment link in your LMS course site to then navigate to perusal. You don't want to go through uh, the app separately or go online and go to perusal directly because if you do that, uh, most likely the grade will not link back to the LMS or Blackboard gradebook if uh, your uh, your faculty member has that uh, as, as an option with the course. So here, um, you know, I'm gonna scroll down here and you'll see various assignments listed along with other things uh, in course content. And so uh, our assignments here have uh, links on them or the, the black underlines, uh, they look like links. And so uh, I'll, I'll uh, move to one here and click on one, an assignment. And so that will then directly take you to an assignment uh, in perusal, uh, the same one. And so uh, depending on your settings uh, or your LMS settings or which device you're accessing this on, you may get this inter this quick intermediary screen, uh, which just says launch, meaning you'll launch a new window or you'll launch this link. Uh, to perusal, so it may navigate automatically, or you may get this just quick, uh, just click launch quickly. Uh, if you do get this, it'll go right to uh, the perusal uh, assignment, as you see here in just a second. And so hopefully this is efficient and convenient. It goes right to the reading here, as you see, uh, that is associated with this uh, task. And it'll scroll down here, and if you want to just uh, get this loaded quickly, just scroll all the way down quickly to the end. You know, just bring it all the way down like that on the scroller. And you see here the last page is loaded and everything in between has loaded. So you scroll back up and see it. It's all there, uh, the entire item, the entire reading. Uh, so hopefully that's, again, convenient. And uh, then you can obviously go through it and do annotations. And we'll show you how to do annotations and those options. Uh, as we said a little bit later. Let me click out of that and then uh, this takes you to what is the typical look of a uh, perusal course site. So there's, um, as you see, some vertical items, uh, menu items on the left hand, sort of one fifth or one eighth left side of the screen. Uh, then you've got a middle column uh, that's sort of your uh, under your horizontal uh, menu there. And then there's the, uh, the item that you're looking at, which is on the right uh, hand column. And there's also sort of an upper column with uh, your, you know, your uh, account name on the upper right hand side. You also see that there is a uh, this green uh, link uh, up at the top, middle top of the screen. That's just indicating that you know this particular course is linked with uh, an LMS course site here, Blackboard, as the example. So I'm going to take you through the various main links here, uh, both on the vertical and horizontal menus, just to show you what these are and what you can find in each of them. Uh, I'm going to focus first on three uh, primary ones, uh, which are uh, library uh, assignments and my score. So library and assignments, you see those two are next to each other on the horizontal menu at near the top. And then there's also uh, my scores, uh, which is like the, bra the grade book in perusal, and that's on the, um, uh, the main uh, left-hand side menu. So let's start with library, and we'll click on that. And this brings up then all the materials that uh, your faculty member has made uh, available uh, and is associated with the assignment or just otherwise in, uh, in perusal in your course. And so we'll scroll down here and you see there's a bunch listed, readings, videos uh, for this particular course. 
And then uh, you look on the right hand side, uh, once you've clicked on one of these, uh, there is, um, uh, you know, for example, in this reading, uh, on readings, there's an open, uh, so you can go directly to this reading uh, from there. You can also download it, download it with comments, and you'll also see with each of these items, uh, there's that blue link uh, underneath uh, near the bottom, uh, which assignments are associated with every item are listed with the respective items. And we click on a video here and you see similar, there's an open uh, button which allows you to uh, open uh, the video player um, for this uh, for this video item. There's a view original web page link uh, pointing to there. Uh, that allows you to go directly to the YouTube, Vimeo, whatever the uh, video uh, host uh, for that particular item is uh, and just view it uh, on the internet or wherever uh, it exists, uh, independent of perusal. And then uh, again, it has the list of assignments that are associated with this item uh, on the blue link below that. And remember that, again, that you always want to click through your LMS course site, your Blackboard course site into perusal through the, through the specific assignment links that your faculty member has designated, uh, because if you don't, the, uh, the activity won't uh, be counted towards the grade. Uh, so again, if that is, um, is a feature that is on for your course, you want to make sure to always go through the specific assignment links in Blackboard. This is just another way to you know, navigate around while you're in perusal. But again, those links uh, in the LMS course site are what you want to uh, you know, initially get to these uh, readings and videos in order to count them uh, in the, uh, back in the LMS gradebook. Let's take a look at assignments, the next major uh, link. Uh, and so we click on that on the horizontal, uh, near the top horizontal menu there. And you'll see then it comes up uh, self-explanatory, a list of assignments and uh, chronologically. So you see the due dates here, I'll scroll down a bit. Uh, so this is looking at a fall semester, typical fall semester course. So September through December, chronologically, uh, you see here the various dates and times and all of that. Uh, so uh, hopefully again, that should be pretty convenient. And uh, they're listed and stacked by due dates. And then we'll click on uh, one here, work on assignments. Uh, so it'll go back into the reading uh, just close out that little tour button there. And again, you can access the assignments uh, or the reading uh, that way as well. And again, scrolling through the reading there and seeing it that way. You can click back on course home on the uh, left hand side menu in order to get out of an assignment or get get out of an item and back to the main uh, one of the main menus here. So this goes back to the assignment menu. And then uh, we'll go over to a video uh, option here, a video uh, assignment and then click work on assignment. And then again, you've got, uh, this goes to the video player here where you see the, it's nearly a full screen uh, player, which is very nice. And the uh, controls with it, uh, the play button, fast forward, rewind, um, volume, all of that, that is typical for um, like a YouTuber Vimeo player. You see it here too. It basically per what Perusal does is it uh, integrates uh, the controls from uh, whatever the host uh, the video host controls are right into this uh, nearly full screen. So it's a, you know, visually quite nice. And so it allows you to just use what are the native controls from the host, uh, whether it's again, YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, you'll see a similar look here uh, because it's basically integrating that uh, into, uh, into the course site. Click on course home and go back to the menu here. And let's go ahead and click on my scores. This is the last, uh, least primary link, one that is gonna be used the most. And so this is again, self-explanatory where you see your score is the grade book. And so scroll down here and you see the list of assignments uh, that were on the assignments link in chronological order. Uh, you see all the due dates there listed here in the grade book as well. And so this is where you'll go and see your, uh, see your grades. So as you complete items, your score will come up in this grade book. And so there's also the average score part, which is down at the bottom, uh, which is just the mean, the average of everything that you've completed uh, so far, at least in perusal. And so you can see that there too, and that's just an additional statistic for your reference. Let's take a look at some of these other links then. Uh, library assignments and my scores are the ones that are used most often. Uh, some of these others can be a little more ancillary depending on uh, you know, your faculty member and, and uh, you know, what's going on in your course, uh, but they can be nice tools. Um, and so these are just some additional things to take a look at uh, in perusal. So let's look at notifications under my scores. This is a nice feature for you from uh, the student side. Uh, this just lists then where you've been mentioned by name uh, in various comments and various um, annotations uh, throughout uh, your course. 
So uh, if you've been mentioned with an at symbol before your name uh, and referenced, you know, this is uh, th this will then list all those notifications uh, that reference you. And so you'll be able to reply to people that have replied to you or, you know, comment on your comment and so on. Uh, so this is a nice sort of uh, aggregation of those uh of those notes about you or uh, associated with you in one place. So again, hopefully that is uh, quite efficient. Notes is another one, we'll click on that. And so uh, you see here, this is a sort of a note taking area. Um, and so if you you know, wanna jot down some ideas, it's got the instructions there on the right hand side, you know, just some uh, a guide on what this is. Um, so you can click on uh, a new and create a new note as I'm doing here. And then you click on that note uh, and you can then, you know, type uh, some notes, uh, some comments to yourself. By the way, uh, in uh, many features in Perusal, including here, as I'm uh, pointing to, you can uh, audio dictate uh, a comment or a note. Um, so you have the microphone icon there. So if you want a place to store some additional thoughts and notes and all of that, well then this is this can be an appropriate place to do that. And you can see up here, you can also download your notes or delete your notes or share your notes. I'm just gonna delete this one because uh, it's just a sample one. Uh, so do that. And you can sort them uh, with this button here uh, by date and other uh, parameters. So that's nice as well. Let's go to the calendar function. So we'll click on add to my calendar. So this is a way then uh, with this link here uh, that you can then use uh, integrate due dates uh, for your uh, course uh, from perusal into various calendar apps such as Microsoft Outlook, um, you know, Mac uh, calendars, these sorts of things. So you can uh, copy and paste this perusal uh, link uh, into that uh, into your favorite calendar app and it should be compatible. Um, and you can then have a calendar function. Some students uh, very much like that, and it's a way to keep organized and on uh, on top of deadlines and due dates. So uh, that is an option, a nice option as well. You can also get to the library and assignments on these uh, left-hand side menu uh, options there too, as you see. There's also an announcements section, which is a place for various uh, course members to be able to post an announcement. And there's also a general uh, discussion a link where you can you know, start a new conversation with other students. A uh, faculty member can start a conversation. Um, so these uh, the announcements and general discussion are more free-flowing areas where online conversations, independent of the assignments, and just generally if the course can occur. Let's go ahead and show you how to do annotations now, which is the bulk of what you will be doing in perusal uh, as a student. And so let's start with the most common type of annotation assignment, which is a reading uh, annotation. So we'll pick one here. We'll go back to the uh, one that we were linking to previously. And so uh, we'll go here and click on work on assignment. Again, one more time, a reminder that you should be linking to these uh, through your LMS course site uh, assignment links. But since we're already in perusal here, we'll just do it uh, this way and go on work on assignment. And the reading comes up again. And so let's scroll down and let's do an annotation. So let's say this top uh, portion here, uh, we find this interesting or we want to comment on it or you know, it's a pert you know, pertinent item uh, that you want to comment and annotate on. So uh, there are two main ways uh, to be able to physically uh, put an annotation comment uh, in, uh, in a reading here. And one is by, uh, by text, uh, by text highlighting uh, or by uh, image highlighting. So you see here that we have this sort of typical text uh, highlight cursor here. And so I'm gonna take this over the, uh, the first uh, part of the reading here and click on it and highlight it just like you would with most any in, you know, in Word or a PDF reader, anything like that. And you highlight it. And once you've highlighted it immediately, it will come up with the comments uh, function there. So you can type in or dictate by voice or uh, whatever is, uh, is most convenient for you. And then you've got your comment and annotation and there you go. And it will automatically save it uh, as, you, uh, as you type them. Now, for some uh, readings, uh, some materials, you may notice that the uh, text, the typical text highlighter is not uh, working properly or just maybe a little difficult to get uh, the highlighter over the words that you want to or the section that you want to. If that's the case, um, you know, because these readers um, uh, format these uh, re you know, readings depending on what they are, and uh, how they originate sometimes differently. Uh, you may need to use the other highlighting function, which is annotate figure. So you go and click on that image icon there, and here you get that uh, more typical image highlighting sort of uh, cross 
uh, cursor you see there on your screen and then just drag it over just like you would to highlight an image or anything else over the words of the sentences or the area that you want to highlight. Uh, again, this can work very similar to a text highlighter and then just the same as the text highlighter, it will come up with the comment feature immediately after you highlight it. And there you go. I've done the exact same thing, highlighted the exact same section that I wanted to, done it two different ways, one with the text highlighter, one with the image highlighter. So if you're having trouble with the text highlighter, if you're finding it a little finicky, don't worry. Just use that image uh, highlighter uh, function and you should be fine. There are some other options here uh, up on the top. Uh, you can print uh, the reading uh, to a PDF or just print it otherwise. Uh, you've got um, you know, download or download with comments. Um, so, you know, if there's a lot of comments and you find them interesting and you want to reference them or, you know, bring them to your, uh, if you have an in-class session or something like that, uh, you can, you know, download it all and bring it that way uh, as an electronic document or otherwise. Um, you've got options here to just manipulate the reading itself, zoom in, zoom out, uh, rotate uh, left or right, that sort of thing. Uh, if you need to rotate uh, the image or the, uh, the reading. Uh, all comments, you can, you know, browse through comments or sort them in different ways. Uh, so again, this is a lot of different, um, a lot of different features to be able to play with here, uh, depending on what your uh, most, you know, is, is most pertinent for how you uh, comment or write, or most pertinent for your assignments. And then on the uh, right hand side menu here, a bunch of different things. Uh, you know, you may use these a little bit less. Uh, the top ones are probably used a bit more. Uh, conversation, current conversation. That's where you can go and look at all the various comments uh, from other students and uh, your instructor and so forth. And then uh, you go down here, these are, you know, not necessarily used as much as a search function, uh, dictionary function and other items, uh, bookmarking. Uh, but again, you know, conversations, uh, you know, sorting comments, annotations, that sort of stuff. Uh, those are the features you're obviously going to be using uh, by far the most. Let's do annotations in a video then. So I'm going to scroll down here to uh, a video annotation assignment. And you see here that um, I've already been in this, uh, this video assignment and uh, tried to make a comment uh, because you see there's this blue bar here. So if you've started work and started commenting and annotating, uh, it'll actually keep track, you know, you started how many conversations and posted, you know, how many follow up uh, answers or comments. Uh, how many people responded to or upvoted your comments and so forth. And so this is also a nice way, again, you know, automatic perusal automatically saves, it automatically keeps track as you do activity. Uh, it'll show you how much you've done or how much needs to be done. So I'll click on here on work on assignment just to get back into this video. And it comes up with the video player portal once again, and we'll click play here. And then as this, as the video goes, You'll just, you see the add comments uh, button is up in the upper right hand corner, that blue button. Again, pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. We just go up when we find a place that we want to add a, uh, an annotation. We can either just uh, go up there and uh, press the add comment button uh, as it's playing. I would suggest that you pause it though like this and then go up and add comment to a precise location where you want to add an annotation. Click on it and same portal, same uh, look as you had with the reading, uh, so it's consistent. And then you just type uh, your uh, annotation there, and it will automatically save it. We'll close that out here, and we'll play again, and it'll continue on from where it was, where the video was. And then we can add another one here. Same thing, click on Add Comment, another portion of the video. And then it will keep track here of where you've put uh, comments in the video. And so again, uh, this should uh, work pretty efficiently. And so that's how you use and navigate a perusal course site.